local Metro Transit wants your feedback on new routes and maybe ways for to, to pay for new riders or to get taxpayers to pay for them. Nine on your side reporter TJ Parker is live at Government Square with more on the plan. TJ. Yeah, Catherine, this is all about improving ridership with uh, people who do ride the bus with Metro and Government Square is a popular connecting spot for riders and part of Metro's plans is to have less people having to go through downtown to connect and more crosstown routes. That's uh, part of this plan. Metro started sharing their reinventing Metro plans with the community over the weekend. There will be nine meetings held over the next couple of weeks. Part of the plan also includes adding 24 hour service on major routes and making trip times shorter. All of this to improve riders experience, but it also means a potential fare increase. Metro says it gets more than half of its funding from city taxpayers, including those who work in Cincinnati but live outside the city. Metro wants to change the funding from an earnings tax to a sales tax and based on how big that tax would be a range from half a percent to one percent Metro could increase routes and frequency. It's important for the community to join us for these public meetings as an opportunity to not only get more awareness about what our plans are, but to also give us feedback. We want to make sure that the Metro we're envisioning for the future is one that meets the needs of our region. Yeah, and currently there are five crosstown routes which make up 10% of total ridership. These meetings Metro is having will also ask for feedback from those riders. The next meeting is tonight at 630 in Anderson Township at the Anderson Center. Metro says if you can't attend these meetings, they will stream it live on their Facebook page. We're live downtown. I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side. Yeah.